What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm Daily Fix and we are continuing with our X4 Foundations playthrough as a Terran Cadet. Now, I believe this is episode 12. That means that for your knowledge, I've been playing this for six hours, which is of course not true. I've had the game run for several, several hours and I believe right now we are... Yeah, look at that. Um, About... 41 hours have passed so far in the last few weeks and and i remember playing the game when we had a lot less a lot lot less so what's been going on we um i actually bought a few more ships to uh, mine in the grand exchange to actually get my level up and you can also see that it is working because we are getting a promotion to honorary uh, honorary company shareholder which is a triv trivial risk and we will definitely take it what else have I been doing? Well, when you become level 20, when your, repu uh, when your reputation... Let's take a look where it actually is. Statistics, no? Factions? When your reputation becomes 20, um, you can go to your faction representative and you will get unlimited access to the soul system. Do not enter before that. There's a big-ass mean space station that will shoot you if you are not allowed in now um and i think currently we are building up with i don't know the, 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 there's a faction probably like the pio or the tell to lolly at 15 yes that probably is it i'm not particularly sure there but i uh, will see what else has been going on well going back to my map and i made sure we had this medium freighter thank you dot vegan for uh, telling me how to actually type this because I'm an idiot and it is trading all the way into the moon section the earth section and you will have to see it like this if you assign a, uh, a freighter to a station you will have to look at its behavior to understand what it's doing so currently it has the trade job and you can see here the max gate distance for either buying and selling is two so keep that in mind if you have a station here i believe this is counting as one but it won't go any further because this is one and there would be two than the asteroid belt which is not a huge problem but that means that we are going to be building yet another station in the asteroid belt and it will also have the energy cells from over here and we can actually start distributing it into like maximum the void and i believed it is the saturn maybe titan region i'm not particularly sure so we'll uh, we're expanding our reach and um, usually you want to find yourselves a nice secluded area where you start building in but we don't have to um, we're not there yet and i would like to have things going more so i don't have to skip as much time anymore i already know this is going to be a very long series and this is going to be the economical part of it not even the warring the warring will even take longer because we will be building fleets so what it is that i want to be doing is i now have um teleportation access and i believe i can start i don't particularly sure how it works but i think i should be able to teleport over towards this uh, mining ship and i believe then there is a cooldown so we can do that let's see what happens oh there we go where am i and we are currently in one of our ore miners and i believe someone was scanning over there but was it? it's actually wow this this is a lot larger than i uh, i thought it would have been magpie I really do like this. Did this um, weird ass creature uh, who is. Can we see the species? That would have been nice information, wasn't it? So, if you go back to map, I believe there is a cooldown to actually jump towards my station. Or isn't there? No, there isn't. Oh, that is so damn cool. That really is so handy. But unfortunately, this is, I believe, just one sector. If you go to your research tab, um, teleportation gives you over a limited range. And the second range is within one system. 
uh, to free so we can uh, and eventually it will go to the entire gate network now we i transferred energy credits over towards this station and we still have a lot of stuff to build and i kind of don't want to buy these because right now getting all of this uh, stuff will be 1.7 million so that is not something that i'm looking very much forward to uh, and eventually we'll start to get all of these materials by building itself so going to the encyclopedia going to wares you will find all of the materials which i believe are manufacturable apart from ice hydrogen helium and you know you're the basic the, the ground stuff um, but that brings me to the following uh, we want to design a new base and it might not be the best uh, area to do this but we're going to be building it in the asteroid belt so we'll go to manage plots and we're going to do a small one because well they are quite uh, quite expensive we'll rename this the second we actually get to create this plot and you see it's not it's very expensive in the the common location but you can see there is a if you build it around here it is somewhat in the center of the galaxy which i usually do like so we will buy this license not to piss off the terran empire I keep calling it the Terran Empire because I've been watching too much um, Star Trek Discovery. And and here is our cube again. So let's get started. What we did last time is I liked building. Not particularly sure what is the, the upper area. Oh, man. Can I reset my camera? Reset to top view. Thank you. So. Wow, that's. That's really far out, isn't it? Okay, let's try to keep this somewhat centered. Now, we are going to... That is really annoying. We do need container storage, right? And we can just easily place that above. And I did that in another one as well. And I'm actually going to build two of them. Like this. Looks kind of weird and wonky. And we are going to look into production and metallic micro lanes is what we are going for this time. So by the looks of it, it can only have on two angles. Now we can build it on three if we use the cross section, but I kind of want to use like a base and then a cross section and in the future, we can build another one over here. Not going to be the biggest one, but we'll build one over here. And we'll build... Flip it around. I don't know if it actually changes anything. Probably not. Yeah, this would be outside of the reach, which is fine. I could actually say... We... Would build a storage. Let's just get rid of that. Instead of building it over there, we're going to be building the storage on top of it and below it so two storages two of these it's not that expensive but before we do anything i will confirm changes actually because otherwise i will be an idiot so we need energy cells helium and ore and for helium we need liquid storage now we need the uh, the, the and solids as well so we have some stuff to do which is quite annoying considering i'm at the other side of the damn galaxy so Let's go back to our ship and I will have to get it all the way over. I don't think I can actually jump towards my representative officer, can I? So that would be that would be way too useful, of course. Yeah, that sucks. I shouldn't have gone here, but that's fine. Let us get my main ship. Let's get all the way over here. Uh, dock and wait over there. Soon. It's going to be a long ass travel, which is very, very unfortunate. You can see my uh, my freighter is actually going there, trading in Earth, the Earth sector, and I've not seen it myself either. So hey, we can shake hands. Let's go back towards our plots. And that is the Asteroid Belt Factory. And we'll go Information. And it's already... Look at this. Except, uh, um, except the construction is already like 7. So we can start with that. So it can actually get started. Let us go back. 
And we're going to be assigning a builder so we can actually start building. Can we get ourselves a Terran construction ship? Yes, we can. So that one is done. And I'm going to be putting... There is no restriction, but go to energy cells and click this button and it's say daily industries only. So we're going to be using our own energy cells for this build. Now, what is it that we are making? So the micro lanes is requiring a container. So that's good. So all we need right now is a solid and a liquid but we also need more containers nevertheless because we're going to be using our energy credits to get over towards this region as well because we want to expand our reach like i said so currently it's one two and i'm doing two because i want this station to trade with this one and then he can go all the way over there and all the way over to the void even maybe into savage spur which i can't know you will never do oh but with my luck you never know where it goes so Let's take a look at trade rules because we just used a trade rule looking at uh, what kind of materials we are using over here. So this is all set. That will slowly get going and building, which is fine. It just takes forever and we'll build um, more at some point. Probably maybe two containers on this end and we'll, do, we'll, we'll um, try to do the same on the other side and just make it a massive base because... I would like to get medium ships in this station. That is my goal. I want medium ships in this station. Let's take a look. There was something I was talking about that I needed to do, and of course I don't know it anymore. Mm, there was something. Uh-oh. My Entry God, I'm having system. a brain fart. Mm. Trade rules. Yes. Trade rules, player information, you go to global orders. And you can see there is a trade rule setup called the daily industries. Now, these are your global orders. What to do when you to attack. What to do if the police intercepts you. What to do if a pirate attacks you. All of this. Global and normal settings for all. All of your ships. And there's probably a lot more in here that I need to... Uh, need to uh, like, a crew notification. Trade successful. I don't care. Star trade where transfer. I really do not care. Order could not be applied. System. Awaiting orders. Actually quite ISMS. nice to do and have. Um, interaction with the crew requires. Under attack. Out of MO. Uh, caught trading illegal wares. That should not be possible. Because we are dropping illegal goods. Um, where are you? Contraband. There you go. Found. Destroy and drop. And stuff like that. So I'll, we'll go over it. So if you want to go and do a trade stuff. Now, you have trade rules as set as default. Now, if you are building a trade station and you press this button, all of your trade stations will go with this. Now, I kind of don't like that because I'm always forgetting that I did that. So um, I'll be wondering why am I not getting any other resources than the ones that I'm actually baking. But uh, making is because I am only allowing daily industries to trade with that station. Same goes with the sailing of ships. You can restrict and we restricted all factions but us to trade energy credits to our own station. System. Because we have them. We are creating it. We will just sell to them, but we will never buy from anyone else system. because we are Holy greedy vision. very very greedy promotion promotion and promotion the terrans the taladi the six hours ago and i think this might be from the terrans yes we have granted licenses oh yeah because i did get the uh, the other one Entering we can now system. build capital Clear ships sight. we can build auxiliary ships or uh, i think ancillary ships whatever advanced modulized stuff like that which is cool we will definitely have to look into that so trade rules set them up and um definitely remember to actually put them on now we are already second going contact. into argon prime and no we'll go to second contact the void gets it we'll, we'll be there shortly we can actually continue the base now looking into this you can see that we've already purchased the silicon carbine and the computer exultant we need to do, as well as the energy cells. I'm kind of hoping. Uh, need backup? I don't think so. 
Unless I'm getting shot at, which is very Enjoy likely. I would go game over avoid. again. No, we're not getting shot at, which is fine. Let's go over here. Let's take a look. So he is currently going to the moon. And he is going to sell his stuff. Let's see. Docking, critical, auto trading. Um, this is my former pilot, actually. we uh, I changed okay. my pilot's. As you can see, we now have a female captain Danger. who is just shy on a bit of morale to be a full-fledged level 2. Hazardous region detected. Now, this is probably going to cost me some shields. Usually, it does show me, right? Yeah, hull 99. Shields is at 98. It, it's fine. It will happen. It, it's So, this is a hazardous region. Information. Is there any way I can find this? Known station, workforce, the void. No, not really. Doesn't tell us. But we know that our ships, if we go and do business in this region, it is hazardous. And we'll have to think about that. Now you can see that we are actually the um, the trader here. I want to show you that it's been actually working. Look at this. And it's been going strong. It's been just roughly giving me about... 180,000 every 20 minutes, which is amazing, which is so good. So in order for us to get that money, it's over here. 1.9, and we don't need it over there. We can just set accept estimates, and there we go, 8.4. Is there anything else that we need for this station? Let's go, let's go accept estimates, no, which is good. The uh, computer substrate, um... They eventually will arrive. And I also want to move into the former contested area, the Getsu Foon, which you can now see is belonging to the Terran uh, Protectorate, um, to have a station so we can start trading all the way into second contact. So we'll have a station over here and probably one in Getsu And I would like to get one in Saturn. Not sure on that though. Uh, one, two, kind of hoping it, it will go all the way to Uranus, but eh, probably not. Uh, one, two, so we need one in Pluto. It, it doesn't have anything. As you can see over here to the right, it, there's almost no goods. In Neptune, and there is helium system. and there's hydrogen. And in the Oort Cloud, there is a good amount of silicon, actually, 11,117, and then three more zeros. That's way more than here in the asteroid belt. No, actually, no, I'm lying. Look at this. There's actually a good bunch. Now, the reason I want manufacturing in the asteroid belt is because there is a good amount of stuff everywhere. Now, we are getting close to the faction representative. We're going to be getting those Android, containers. Jupiter. And I believe we are going to require a... I don't think we can actually do this as a small. No, we need a medium ship. And this is going to be a gas miner. And I'm going to be putting it on medium again. Let's take a look if it... There is no such thing as harvesters for the gas apparently so i'm not particularly sure how that works let's go with the docking mark 2 targeting and trading i kind of like that others are good thrusters are basic combat we did well like i said we don't really need shields for this ship because it's not going to be in any hazardous area let's give it you crew members and there we go we have the bolo a um a gas ship. We'll rename it later. Let's add this to the shopping list. And confirm that. We'll do one for now. And the second we get towards the representative, the second we can actually continue with the station. And I'm very Entering surprised Saturn. about the amount of money we need to mail build this. Because remember the very first station. The very first station that we built over here would cost us about 7 million. And then I went out of my way, added more solar panels. And I will be adding way more. There's actually going to be another row with solar panels. Because we are making good money. And the more this ship has. Go to logical overview. It's currently selling for 16. Now, the more energy it has, the lower this price. The lower the price, the more trade our ship will do. The more money we will create. Remember, 
we don't buy anything in it is all free and we're doing it in the station with a hundred go back 190 percent in sunlight also this would be a good way to go for um there's 168 and it would trade you into neptune as well as the anti-gun memorial I'm not sure if i want to be friends with those but we'll see we'll see that in the future um are we going to be docking shortly it looks like it and i'm hoping your morale will be um, quite decent we should also invest in a larger ship and i've been saying this for a while now that i want a larger ship and we kind of um, got our ass kicked remember that yes we all do i got gamed over because i bl flew into my own minds i checked i was attacked by my own minds yes that is very sad i know so i'm not particularly sure if i want to go for the gunboat or if I want to go for the Corvette. Uh, let's see, the Corvette, the gunboat, actually. And we have the Katana Corvette. I'm not particularly sure. Let's go with a low preset for now. And let's take a look. So the speed is 178. And there's almost no container room. The hull is way better than we, what we have right now. And the weapon outboost would be 1.7. And let's go to the gunboat. I think I would like this one way more. Well, maybe I wouldn't. Speed is higher. Am I not getting any weapon fire from this? Wait, I'm using missiles? No. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Barrage. Where am I using missiles? Got some flares in there. I'm not particularly sure on why. Let's see. Radar range, every turret output. Okay, there we go. So it only has turrets. And it's 416. Go back to the Corvette. Let's go low. Average turret output is 190. Um, and we have a place to store our small ships. Maybe I will, I'll probably go for the Flax. It has turrets. It has a buttload of engines. And if what if we do high preset? Damn, that's, that's way more. Look at that 10,000. Freak's sake. So this is the Flax Corvette. Let's go to the gunboat. Oh, look at that. I kind of like it. I'm, I'm worse at fighting. But it doesn't have a small ship docking place. And we'll have the Corvette over here. And high burst. Yeah. It has definitely has a larger outburst with normal weapons. Let me know in the comment section, guys, uh, the one which uh, you think we should go for. And I'll get that. Well, now, currently, we are at our faction representative. Let's go towards that person. And we're going to be getting some more containers. Now, luckily, we do have money. Now, I should probably try to get the... Uh, representative force first uh, the larger containers but currently i don't want to spend one and a half million for those yet because that would be about four and a half million it's an honor to see you here uh, show me a license anything yes i got the police licensing and the trade offer subscription what does it do uh, we didn't purchase the lighter hold against the ability to view all trade offers on stations belonging to the issuing fact regardless whether those stations are known really Interesting. Interesting. Really? Would it update them as well? I'm not not Good particularly sure there. about that. Oh, sorry for that. It's an honor to see you here. Yes, it's, it's I I think so as well. Let's go to modules, production. So this is all the production we can get, and I would like to go for the computer substrate at some point. And this time we're going for the storage. Now, the small containers. We're going to be buying those. Actually, it's just one million. I will eventually have all of them, and I just don't want to rush things. So Good luck there out we there. go. Assistant, go. hurry up! I have already quadruple checked the configurations of the station sensors, confirmed the location of the Great Reef Nebula, and paid our lawyer to look into this observational interference. There is not much more that 
I can do to get this observation started. He's really annoying. He is absolutely annoying. So now that we have this, uh, we can do both of these uh, containers probably on the other sides. Uh, but currently we can also use these ports, right? So let's go back to dock. Uh, no. Storage. Uh, we need liquid. Can I just put you... It doesn't have a side one, does it? No, it just can... Ah, well. It's kind of sad. We could use a cross-section. Ooh. Man, these are large. They are really large. To put them on here. I don't want to. Actually, let's do it like this. We'll place this one. You click this, hold the right mouse button, and you will drag it. You'll get another cross section. And we will place a liquid and a solid on here. And we'll leave room to actually have those two. Uh, we can actually copy paste the entire design and flip it around. Do it a few more times. So we'll do copy sequence. And this is where I usually lose my uh, the way how to. I know you should be able to. Can I select all of you? And then, oh, here we go. I don't know how I'm doing it, but it is working. Then anyway, there we go. Some more and we'll do copy sequence. Uh, click it when it's all highlighted. Flip it around. Oh my god. And click it onto that. It barely fits. It barely fits. Can we do something else to make this a bit more interesting? We can also go upwards. I don't think we can actually fit something in here. Yeah, we could go into the hide, but currently I think this is more than enough. Now, the energy cells we are still not going to get from a other faction. The others is still fine. And I want empty. I think we want to leave it at this. I think we'll have more than enough storage. Uh, once these are made, it's going to be fine. And hopefully it's about 400,000. But also the energy. Don't forget the energy. Which is going to be in there. So let's go ahead over here. Apparently it's waiting for the energy cells. Let's take a look at my freighter. It is on its way back. We could... Are you not going to do anything? What is, what's your current plan? It is holding position and you are auto-trading. Okay, now we're going to be telling you to go over here. I want you to transfer wares from the energy production. And we're going to be taking... How much will we need? Never mind. Let's let's take a look at that first. Uh, click station. Information. Station. Configure station. We didn't accept. I'm an idiot. I thought something was odd. How much would we need for all of this? Well, damn, I feel really dumb right now. Let's go click you, flip you, just a bit more. So you're hooked on. Go cross section, dog, liquid, solid, copy sequence, place it over. Copy sequence, place it in there. Oh. Flip it around. Put it on that. You could also place it on these if you want to. Because it does work like that. You copy sequence. Place you down there. 
click you, drag you, flip you around. And there we go. Confirm module changes. Isn't that just lovely? So the estimates apparently. Oh, look at that. 1.4 million just for the silicon. Yeah, this is going to be a bit more expensive. Let's keep everything empty. Okay, close up. What is it that we need? Oh, we need a way more, but it's not configuring anytime soon, is it? So the energy cells. We're just going to build... What we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll click and drag like a humongous amount. Transfer wares. Complete. Confirm that. Then right click over here and there is it probably hard to tell but you can build uh, eventually you will have the station and you have build storage and we're going to be transferred to build storage and confirm that so that will start going then next episode guys this station is most likely going to be built and hopefully by the time i have something else i know what kind of medium class ship we are going to be flying and there's also a station somewhere that's not being updated. Uh, my radar is set too much, but I'm, there's too many stations to actually go, or too many systems to go through, and I kind of don't feel like it. So, the name of the station is uh, what it is going to be producing. And this will eventually produce... There's no restrictions. Check this. If you have a if you have trade station uh, global orders, that there's no restriction. Would be quite awkward if they were. And let's go station overview. Metallic micro latest. I wish I could copy and paste that. Um, metallic micro latest. Rename. Metallic micro play this probably really mistyping it, um, but don't worry. It's going to be renamed. This is going to be it. You will see that it will start making it. Once we actually have the dog, we're going to be assigning everyone to it. We're going to need a manager for this place. And we're going to be probably adding all of our miners to it. Because I'm expecting a lot of cash. That's what I'm expecting. So currently, let's check if I actually got the name right. Micro, metallic double L, double E, C. Okay. Twitter C. Let's rename. And we did forget to save the design. So it should be, should be good like this. Should be good. Um, could we already assign him? No, look, there, there's, there's no way. Transfer wares and trade with the station? No, that's not happening. I'm actually considering maybe removing my smaller miners and just sending these towards various systems in the uh, the known universe to actually do its thing and only use medium ships for my own station okay is my trade ship common or what he is on its way and yeah we'll see you we'll see the base completed next time anyways guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll uh speak to you in the uh, the next episode have a good one bye bye